Man, winter's coming up in New York City, guys. Uh, I'm getting cabin fever already, so I need to settle down with my bae, chilling on the couch, putting on my Netflix, and getting ready to chill because I'm not leaving the house for the next five months. What's the drink that I'm gonna be sipping on? Well, first of all, I'm gonna grab a little Roundhouse Spirits Pumpkin Cordial. Now, this is from the great state of Colorado and the People's Republic of Boulder, Colorado. The two greatest things that America has ever produced. I'm gonna throw it with a little European flair, throw in a little Spanish apple cider uh, with an Isis Teji. Now, this is traditional, unfiltered, Basque-style cider. Put these two together, it's a winning match, and we'll see if I get lucky. With winter right around the corner and cabin fever creeping in, I need something to hold me down for the next six months. Colonel Taylor's single malt bourbon should do the trick. So Bay just hit me up. She's down at Park Slope. I'm at Grain and Vine, South Williamsburg. I gotta get down to Park Slope. And I gotta get on the G train. The G train. Man, I'm not trying to ride the G train. So if I have to, I'm gonna grab a little bit of technical reserve from industry distilling. 95.6% uh, alcohol. This is the absolute only way that I will get on the G train and survive this ride. Although I gotta be careful about drinking too much because I wanna survive the ride because it's bad. So here we meet again. I'm waiting for the G train and it is non-existent. I'm trying to get over to Moment PS1 and I need something to hold me over. Kings County Bourbon should do the trick. So as you all know, my consigliere here at Great Divine Patrick is getting a little bit predictable in these videos. This should do the trick. That should do the trick. Anything should do the trick. So we've been spending a little bit of time trying to get him to find a new catchphrase. And so I decided, what do I want to drink while we try to get him to think of new words to use? I'm going to go with a little 2010 Barolo. Why Barolo, you may ask? Well, I need to open this up for about three hours in a decanter. So maybe by the time we come up with a new phrase for Patrick, I'll actually get to drink a little bit. That's why I'm going with Barolo. This should do the trick. So apparently I'm becoming a little repetitive. To come up with some new catchphrases, I think I'm gonna be sipping on some Espelon Reposado tonight. Uh, this should help loosen things up. 